Right, so I'm going to show you the intro both ways that you could play it, um, with and without a capo, basically. I would do it, you know, I would do it personally without the capo, because it, you'll see kind of why, because it makes the rest of the song easier. You know, not having the, you know, having the second fret bar and not having some of these open strings and standard tuning is a bit of a pain in the rest of the song. Uh, I suppose there's nothing stopping you from using the, uh, using the uh, capo to play the intro and then taking it off, but hey. Um, two chords, a D major and an F sharp major. The D major is played like this, five on A, four on D, two on G, and three, with your middle finger, on um, B. So you've got five, four, uh, five, four, one, uh, two, Three. I'm also barring the top E string as well, but we're not going to play that in the intro so it doesn't matter if that isn't coming through. First thing we do is this. So what I did was I pick, I'm pick. i picking the A string, but I'm also going like this with my ring finger on the B string. Then we're going to pick the D string, then the G, then back to the A string. Then the B string, and then the G string. So you've got. Then we're going to go like this. Four, two, open on the A string. Then four on the thick E string. And that's our passing notes to our F sharp major bar chord, where we go like this. So thick E string, A string, D string, thick E string, G string, back to the D. Then we go like this. So I went four on the D string, two on the D string, open, and then two on the A. Then from there, I'm getting ready to do this first chord again, the D major and I'm going to hammer on like that. So very quick little two on the A string, hammering on to five. And we're going to go like this. So slightly different picking pattern there. We went, so hammer on, D string immediately followed by the A string, then, then B string, so you've got, Sorry, D, so D string, A string, G string, then back to the A string, then B string, then G. So you've got... Um, one more time. Ah. One more time, sorry. Then we go like this, four, two, open, you know, our little run down to the F sharp. Uh, so what have we done so far then? We've done this. Ah, that's right, yes. So after we've done this, um, so we've gone round the through the first time, so we've gone like this. Now, we've, so we've done our hammer on, then we go like this. So we go uh, D string, A string, G string back to the A string, so you got, now I'm going to go like this, this is tricky, we're going to bring our pinky down, oh, and your middle finger, which is on the third fret of the B string, you're going to hammer on with your pinky like that, and pull off, and then you're going to bring it up back to the fifth fret of the A string, so you've got this, so we've done, um, hammer on, 
like that. Then we're going to go like this. So I took this shape, D major that we've been doing, sliding it up to E major, and then strumming it again. So you've got slide, strum. Now we're to our F sharp major. So we've done this. Now we go like this, and then we've got our hammer on, so I went D string, A string, G string, A string, um, and then B string, G string, so you got then da 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 da. We've got our little trill thing again, followed by a slide, and we go like this. So, and that, that's, that's the end of the intro there. So you go like this on your F sharp, and then right at the end you go like this. So I went, still holding the F sharp major chord, we go G string, D string, A string. So that's uh, the intro in its entirety then. So you've got. show you with the capo. So this time now because of the capo we can just use a C major open chord and an E major. So we go like this on the C major. So same strings as I did before A and B together uh, then D string then G string open then A string, then B string. Now when we do this little rundown, we're going to go... So we're going to go what I'm going to call fret number two on the A string, then open, then three, two on the thick E string. So you've got... And then we're into our E major shape. And I went E string, A string, string, back to the E string, G string, then D string. Then we go, so I went D string, second fret, open, then A string, third fret, open. And then we're back to our C major shape. So I went, uh, so yeah hammer on into that on that third fret of the A strings when you're going back to the C shape then we go D string uh, A string then G string open then A string then G string oh actually I've done it again so we've got this so we've got uh, hammer on, then we go at D string, uh, D string, A string, so you got, then G string open, so you got, then A string, then, uh, then B string, and we're going to go like this. Uh, so I went, hammering on, I'm obviously holding down the first fret with my index finger, and then I'm hammering on with my pinky to the third fret, uh, and then going, so you're doing your little hammer on and pull off, and then you're playing the um, A string, 
So you've got a uh, hammer on here. Then we take our uh, C major shape and slide it up two frets like that. So you strum it, slide, and then strum again. And so, we're, and then we're, yeah, so we've done this um, from the start. Now we're to our E major shape. So that again was two open on the B on the D string, and then three open on the A string. So you got um, one you go like this D uh, G D B uh, A string so you've got you you'll have just done this and then G D A like that so yeah um, I'll go through it again then so you've got Go with that for now and then I'll do a separate video on the rest of the song. The rest of the song, apart from the few little twiddly bits he does here and there, it's not too difficult. It's basically mainly just bar chords. But yeah, let's go with that for now. <laughs> 